Let's just play it a little bit with this tempo and see where we're at. What it, can you guys listen to two different bass tones real quick? Yeah. This one, or the, this is the first one. P bass kind of thing, yeah. Or, or the regular here. I like, I like the first that. one. I like the first one because the first one's a little more exciting. It's got that. It's that 70s porn. Well, you're not doing that, are you? No, I'm not slapping. Yeah, do that. It's a... Uh, or I could cut it in between. Yeah, a little bit of the smooth with the attack. The process of, of comma later coming to the fold, I think we wanted something a little bit up-tempo. It's, it's got a good fast backbeat to it, something with a little energy. The dispersion of the room was about as long as it took for the snare drum to come back around. Bah, bah. So it just kind of was the perfect timing for that song, you know. able to bring a lot of our favorite pieces of gear just because of obviously the travel so getting used to the equipment that we had you know was was the hardest thing so just making sure the amp was going to speak the way the way it was going to with my guitar it was just like just getting it right As far as, as playing the bass and picking which basses to perform with, I didn't have much of a choice flying over for those shows, so I brought my F bass. Been pretty excited about the tone it's been getting in the studio, working with Manny and Greg. I think the best thing is probably to say uh, you should probably just play the way you play and, and be comfortable and, and open to that. I think the room kind of lends itself to teach you how to be open and honest with your playing and a live, ex live room experience and the take and not worry about, oh, fixing this, fixing that with, you know, Pro Tools and things, you know. I think that what's great was the technology it is there, but it's also nostalgic. It teaches you as a player to play very real and open and honest with your sound. And that's what I really liked about it. Anything that's been recorded at Abbey Road uh, certainly has kind of a, a classic tag that goes along with it. And uh, much like many of our songs, we, uh, we prefer to have kind of an analog feel with them. And so I think this will be a, uh, a perfect example of something that's going to sound really nice on a 180 gram vinyl, maybe even with some headphones.
That last chord I played a D9. I put you played a major. That's fine. I like actually heard that. I was like, ah. I don't know if that was you or Joel. Yeah. Actually play the D9. Yeah, yeah. that was good. Only there? Yeah, just just on that last one. Thank you. 